We are live. Do you want to queue up your phone? Yeah, I'm going to queue it up. I noticed that in the beginning, like, uh, maybe not the beginning, but the thumbnail for all of the posts for the video, I'm like, <laughs> very serious. We're intrigued. Oh, Amanda's the first one. And Trav. What's up, Trav? You made it. Oh, you guys are waiting. Amanda, number one fan. You did it. You did That's it. it. <laughs> oh, we're getting everyone. Ashley, what's up, girl? Oh, my God. This is gonna be like the best episode it, yet. Yeah, you've already built it up. We're all, it's it's all downhill no, now. No, no. All downhill. No, it's gonna be great. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's Saturday night. What do people? Saturday have? night, you... everyone. Yeah, seriously, it's Saturday during the quarantine. <laughs> What's happening? All right, I'm into. We miss you. Is the whole Dupuy? With a D family here joining us? No way. <laughs> All uphill, that's right. Holly, you made it. Hi. Oh, this is so fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. Yay, all our friends are coming. Trav's a, Trav's a newcomer to this. Yeah, so this is Trav's first we, time. We get the wheels rolling once we get a certain amount of people. So hold tight. Go make sure the kids are... Yeah, Travis is my brother-in-law for cool. anybody that doesn't know. Yeah, if you gotta, you know, go water the lawn, come back in like two minutes or so. <laughs> I feel like the lawn's got plenty of watering today. Oh, today, yeah. Oh, it was, an, it was gross. Yep. It was really gross. But sun came over a little bit. It did, like right towards the end. No, Holly, wine is, you're more than welcome. We're very equal opportunity around here. The way we see this is <laughs> that it. We get to hang out with you guys. You guys can be drinking whatever you want to be drinking. We get to hang out with you guys. Yeah, so that's right. It's it's like we're in your house without or masks. So you're in our house. Yeah. Whatever. Either way, we just miss everybody and we we having fun doing this. So Karen Campbell Evans, our what number seven fan? Whoa, she got oof, number seven. Wise <laughs> comments earlier, so she got. <laughs> we. Doing that, doing that hole? Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's 6.30 on the dot, so we're going to give this a few more minutes, guys. Give people some time. Yeah, but um, we have some delicious beers tonight. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, they're all local beers, too. Well, local to Massachusetts. If you're in Massachusetts, it's local. So far, it's all Massachusetts friends. Yeah, so, so we're far. good. Yeah, so far. Um, I actually, so I worked all day today and I was telling Danny that there's a nurse I work with sometimes. Um, I hadn't worked with her in so long. She's actually about to have a baby in three weeks and I didn't even know she was pregnant. So it's been a very long time since I've seen her, but I saw on Instagram that she and her husband opened up their own brewery up in Rochester, New Hampshire. Awesome. Yeah. They opened in September. Things have been going pretty well. They're called Back Hill Brewing. Back Hill, yeah. In and Manchester, they, New Hampshire. Uh, no, Rochester. Rochester. Yes. There's a chest in there somewhere. <laughs> There's a bunch. Um, but yeah, it looks awesome. I can't wait to go and check it out. They have, She said as of right now, they have 10 beers on tap. Uh, four in cans. Apparently, there's a can shortage right now during this. The old New Hampshire can <laughs> shortage of 2021. Apparently, it's, we're a part of it. Get your t-shirts. Apparently, it's because of coronavirus. Don't know, but she said that they're on a shortage. They have four beers in cans right now. More to come. We also heard that if you go to a brewery in New Hampshire and there's no cans, just hold out your hand or your mouth. Put it in your gas can, whatever it is. <laughs> put it in your cap. Put it in your boot. But they'll get it to you. Christy Dupuy with a D joined. Oh, yeah. And oh, Chris. Yeah. Chris and Jessica joined, too. Oh, yeah. That's, that's... We got a lot of first-timers tonight. Big this happenings is so exciting. in that house. Oh, yeah. I'm so pumped. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. We're going to give it a few minutes. <laughs> Our brewery? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. One, one thing at a time. I <laughs> just got through school. Just getting this up and running. We'll get there. We'll get there. Joey Dupuy's fascinated by this info. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, cutest kids in the world. Oh, Alicia joined. Oh my goodness. Hi, Melanie. Chris, you can definitely do Coors Light tonight if you want. Yeah, there you no go. No judgment here. <laughs> yeah, of course. We will absolutely toast you. Like we were saying before you came Regardless. on, uh, it's like we're in your living room. It's yeah. like we're in your house. We just, we, just we can't see you guys, but you can see us. So um, drink up, be merry, ask questions. Yeah. We banter a lot. Mm -hmm. So have at it. 
yeah, if we miss, if we do miss a question, I apologize. I do the best that I can to, well, we both do, to keep track, but we also don't want to get away from the conversation we're having. We don't want to be staring down at this screen when we should be looking up at you guys. So you, if I miss it, I apologize. And you know me, I could sit on here all night and talk to you guys. So it's true. Amy worked all day and she's I'm tired, pooped. but we, this is the highlight of our day, of course. Oh yeah. I'm pooped, but I'm also so ready for some good beer. Yeah. So, so ready. We just had a little bit of, bit of dinner. What, um, what an adventure that was. Cheesecake oh. factory. We have gift cards forever. Can't wait. To and use them all. Cheesecake Factory is delicious, regardless of the struggle it was to get it this evening. But, um... We, <laughs> yeah, the puzzle's a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for anyone that was wondering from the last two episodes, we have not made any progress on the puzzle. <laughs> I come Still out, just the border. <laughs> I come out the other morning and there's pieces on the floor. The cat, just the tail just whips them all off. So she's keeping us on our toes. She is. We'll, we'll give it a go tomorrow. Maybe. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I might do literally nothing tomorrow. That's fine. I'm exhausted. That's fine. But yeah, so our dinner adventure this evening. So we ordered cheesecake online ahead of time. Right, Amanda. <laughs> um, and that was the struggle in itself, but we won't get into that because I was really frustrated. So we ordered it, ready to pick up for 5.30. We get to the Chestnut Hill Cheesecake and we park in the designated parking spots where there's signs that say, park here for curbside pickup. Call. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, when you're here and your order's ready. But before we could even do that, Amy received a text and it was like, hey, your order's ready. Mm -hmm. Come inside or get in line. The line was down the street. You parked around the cars and all mm -hmm. that other stuff. But I was like, I'm going in. So me and this Asian fellow, we decided to walk in and take matters into our own hands. They basically just told us, no, 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 you don't come in. You got to go outside. So we went outside. We got in a long ass line. Oh my god! It's it was a calamity, but we got our food. We did. We wolfed it down. It was very good. <laughs> Not um, gonna lie, it was pretty worth it. <laughs> and then coming home, I got caught behind a student driver, and it was it was bad. That <laughs> that for, was tough. For obviously, that's why they're going to driving school. They need it. That was bad. That I was scary. I hope that was day one because they they need their. It was, they, they need practice. It was actually Parkway Driving <laughs> School. So all my West Roxbury and Rosendale people, Disco Bob, what the hell was that all about? <laughs> I, wish, I wish I knew what this was. Seriously. <laughs> it looks like the phone's slipping, love. Uh-oh. Do you want to fix it? I just don't want it to go down. <laughs> what a stud. <laughs> there we go. What do you say? Got to get the good angles. Um, Should we get this started? Who's ready? I'm ready. Actually, what time is it? 6.35. 6.35. Okay. You missed that cue. What's that? You missed that cue. I'm sorry. I, was, I think I had a puzzle piece in my shoe. Danny Campbell, what time is it? Why do you ask? <laughs> it's Jock O'Clock. That's the name of our first beer. We had that all planned. I had a puzzle piece in my shoe. So I didn't want to lose it. Get distracted very easily. <laughs> but our first beer of the night is called Chalk O'Clock. Woohoo! It's from Shoveltown Brewery in... Where? Yeah, I'm, look, I'm oh, keeping you on your toes. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm distracted now. Uh, Northeastern Mass. North, hey! Northeastern, not Northeastern. Where your cousin, he got a full scholarship <laughs> there. Play hockey, but he got kicked out of Connell Larkins because he got too drunk. Asshole. Um, <laughs> What's your Joey Dupuis with a D is watching this. Joey, Joey's not. He's going to start repeating it because of you. But it's a chocolate clock. It's a Imperial Chocolate Stout. And it's um, it, it's a collaboration with Hilliard's Chocolate. So oh, what's Hilliard's Chocolate? Tell I, me about that. I wish I could. <laughs> we had my phone occupied for the uh, Instagram, so I couldn't Google everything. Not like I had all day. To do research, no, but you were having a good lazy day. That's okay. But yeah, it's a imperial chocolate stout. This has Amanda written all over it. Amanda, we're doing this for you. But yeah, in Shoveltown Brewery, we haven't been there yet. It's in North Easton. Mm -hmm. It's like I think if you go North Easton, you get off the highway, you can go to Brockton, or you can go to North Easton. Take the right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go to Brockton. 
Yeah, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Um, but my friend Jill actually reached out and said this is from her hometown, and she said they're pretty good. Sweet. So Jill's not here, but shout out to Jill. Maybe she'll watch this, and I'm ready to try some chocolate stout. And honestly, the brewery, I've seen it in the past. I think they opened up in 2015, and just seeing pictures online, it, it looks awesome. It's got... Um, like tap handles, mm -hmm. they're actually like garden shovels. Oh, that's right. You so should tell pretty, me about that. that, that you, got, you got my vote with that. Sign me up. All right. So. Mm -hmm. I love that sound. Per usual here on the Craft Bear Campbell's, we always share a beer. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. The pictures are falling off the walls. It's chaos here tonight. It is. It is. That's just our lives. But we share a beer. Honestly, I probably couldn't pound that. Oh, I definitely could. I 100% could. Mm. So we do have a lot of first-timers here, including D3, who just joined. It is not he's his not first time. He's not a full-timer. But welcome, first time. D3. Full-timer? Yeah, he's full-time bozo. That's <laughs> what he full -time is. He's a full-time fan, is what yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a big fan. So for all He's the probably <laughs> drunk, to be honest with you, because he, he was at a... Don't throw people into no, the No, I'm throwing them. I'm lifting it up and throwing them. <laughs> but he was out... He sent me pictures of... He was drinking some nice-looking beers. Ooh. And his burger was probably about as tall as I am. Eh, as tall as Amy is. Yeah, so about right. But it looked awesome. We went to a place in Pawtucket. Oh. But so, let's yes. dive into this. It's a nice dark beer. How come you got a heavier pour than me? Um, We can switch. All right, let's switch. Um, but yeah, so for the first timers here, we do have a little hashtag that we're trying to get up and running. Hashtag share a beer. Uh, because that's what we do here. That's how we try beers. We get to try more beers Overall, if we share it and we don't get too hammered, yeah, we do it at home. We do it when we're out at breweries. It's just it's the way to go. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right in. Here we go. All right. First beer, chalk o'clock. Chalk o'clock. It's five o'clock. Oh, that smells good. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. That's good. That's some good chocolate right there. It's not even like overpowering chocolate it's no just it hits you it's a hint. a hint and like you know when you get um like not natural chocolate but like organic chocolate and it's like grainy yeah not like not like hershey's that's like there's a ton of sugar and whatever right. it's like that grainy organic chocolate that's what i'm getting right at the end oh This is so smooth. Yeah, you get it right at the end. Oh, this is so good. This is very good. Amanda, you're going to like this one. Run, and... run on down. I'll pour you a glass. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. If it's still around because I'm definitely putting get it Get your roll blades on and just come <laughs> skate down and we'll pour it off the porch. Mm. Um, but no, this is delicious. This is, um, it's not thick. No. It's not heavy. No. It's. This is very light, very smooth. Yeah. I, could, I know you said you couldn't chug this. I could definitely chug this no i couldn't chug it i could definitely chug this um this, this is, is very good a poor one one beer share beer that's perfect for me that's mm. um that's enough i could definitely have like one or two of these cans oh. like the full can yeah we'll have to make it out to this brewery soon yeah um again it's <laughs> in our own backyard so um supporting the local brewery mm -hmm. that's huge i mean support, support your local businesses but you know the breweries that's what that's what we're here for. It's, yeah, a lot of people don't think of breweries as, like, a business to support. No, but, unless it's a huge brewery, right. like, they can't let people in. They can't let people in and, you know, the order and foods. Like, we've been to plenty of breweries where you got to get, it's a small brewery, but you have to order a janky-ass grilled cheese or what is that? what else is there? Like, oh, the hot dogs. Oh, like gray hot gray dogs. Gray hot dogs, have yeah. Have we eaten them? So. Yes. I mean, we can go into that whole thing about would they rather have people get come down with food poison or just let them drink a beer? Honestly, I would much rather get food poisoning than the vid. So I'll take the gray hot dogs all day long. That's just me. Someone's calling my name. I have to leave. <laughs> but, no, this is a very, 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 very good beer. Um, and this is coming from someone who's not a big stout fan. Mm -mm. No, I'm slowly becoming a porter fan, but the stouts, they're growing on me slowly if you watch the last video that stout did not wasn't my cup of tea so to that, speak that was a subpar stout yeah that it was and like i get i'm the stout fan i'm the stout drinker in this family 
And I just didn't love that stout. It had this like acidic, yeah. I don't know. It wasn't great. Let's focus on this one. Yeah, I'll go to the last episode. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to check it out yourself. So as a non-stout fan in general, what do you want to rate this beer? 3.2. Ooh, you just, you jumped right in. Yeah. Okay. All right. 3.2. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say four point three. This is excellent. The chocolate's excellent in this. It's it, not it, if you ever had I think Yangling did um Oh the Hershey's the Hershey's, that's just that, straight chocolate to yeah, your face. It is good. It's very good. I'm not you, knocking it. You can't have more than it's like that root beer that I came out with. That, oh the um, was it not your daddy's root beer or some <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. That you can't have more than one of those. If you can then yep, you got the be, you. you got diabetes. <laughs> That, that stuff was loaded with sugar. It was it was cool. Take a sip. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah maybe that much. And then throw it over your yeah. shoulder. No, this I could definitely put back a few of these. Yeah. These are really good. Also, D joined us. Welcome, Danielle. Happy you made it. Oh, Danielle, um, I'm a little sad. So I told Danielle not to get the cloud candy yesterday because she's had it multiple times. There are other better sours and better beers than cloud candy. But... She likes it. She That's her jam. So I steered her more towards the laser cat. I guess it didn't jive with the dinner that she had. So I feel really bad. I steered her in What's the wrong it direction. We're not... What's the wine? A, a sommelier? A sommelier. Yeah, we're not that. <laughs> we're just regular old people. No, Blue but, collar humans. <laughs> I and know. like beers. Are we professionals? No. Do we make our own beer? No. Do we know... Not yet. All the levels of flavorings and stuff? No. But we love drinking it, and, and we, we want to tell you about and, it. And honestly, we probably have the same taste as you guys, and um, we're not fancy, fancy people. We Clearly. like like a beer cold. Can you crush it? Yes, no. We'll let you know. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was good. Shovel Town, Chocolate oh. Clock. We're coming, Shovel Town. Yeah, we're this coming. Is, this is fantastic, um, Alicia. I do not use the Untapped app. Um, I didn't like it. I I honest I've downloaded it twice and then just never used it because I just keep forgetting like I just I just drink my I beer. I think with Untapped it was uh when I first got on it I would look look up beers and stuff I couldn't find anything it's probably much better right now probably much better so yeah I'm sure um, I made some progress yeah um Amanda the cloud candy is good I'm not saying the cloud candy is not good mighty squirrel. Yeah, Mighty Squirrel's pretty good. Cloud Candy's probably the best, in my opinion, probably the best that they make. I just liked, I personally like Laser Cat better. Yeah. Um, but but Danielle Laser, and I, Laser Cat's not, I mean, there's two different beers entirely. Like, it's two, a, yeah, two totally different. One's an IPA, one's a... Um, they're, they're both IPAs. Oh, I thought Cloud Candy was a sour. No, it's I'm not. I'm thinking of something else. It's I think it's IPA. the face on the can that's throwing me off. Yeah. Um, but Danielle and I have totally different palettes and, like, we like different things. But Danielle, very proud of you for trying something different instead of just sticking to what you know. That's what we're about here. Good. We want to try different things. And Kristen, review of uh, Miller Lite. Mm. That's water. Boo. <laughs> Sorry, no offense. The Miller Lite is good in this house. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I have to say, like, I'm not a big light beer fan. But for some reason, Miller Lite has just... I just never liked it. Even back... You have, to pick like, and, you have to pick and choose. You go to a Red Sox game or Bruins game, it's probably the cheapest beer. Oh, yeah. But Miller Lite, I was like, uh, I'm so I'd sorry. I'll probably go with a BL or a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd go for a lady. Honestly, I'd go with a Coors. Shout out to Coors. Chris I... and Jessica watching from home. Probably just <laughs> crush them off their heads right now. I would totally go for a Coors over Miller Lite. I'm so sorry, Kristen. Yeah, even like when I was... I hope my mom's not watching this yet. But even when I was in high school trying beer, sorry, Mom, Miller Lite just never sat well with me. I just never liked it. And some people's gyms, like... Yeah, some people love it. They got it. the sweatshirts and uh, pajamas and all that. Nah. You know who loves Miller Lite? My friend Joey. Oh, I remember that, yeah. Oh, crushes Miller Lite. Oh, yeah, it was it was uh, at their um, engagement party. That's and, right. And at the wedding. Mary and Joey are not watching, but hopefully they'll tune in later on. And here's your shout out. <laughs> yeah, she, we're gonna we gotta get Kristen uh, into a brewery after the gym one day. Mm. We, we're surrounded I'll, I'll by Uber them too. You guys or something? Yeah, <laughs> it'll be fun. All right, so palate cleanser. I've been sipping my Miller Lite the whole time. That's perfectly fine. And let's move on. Moving on. Moving on. All right, so the next one we have. Oh, you guys ready for this one? This one is I got this 
I've always wanted to try it. Um, I was a little, I don't know, upset when we lost a certain someone here in New England. Um, and this brewery did something pretty, I don't know, fresh, you could say. Not like fresh, like, well, that's fresh, but it's like, you know, fresh. Fresh. Fresh boy. Um, so, to go with the theme of NFL playoffs this weekend... Uh, Smug Brewing has gifted us with Traderade. That's right, everybody. <laughs> Look at that. Sorry, small arms. Traderade. It was pretty much a uh, middle finger to Tom Brady. I mean, that's a cool logo. They, that is a really cool Smug's logo. Smug's got like this chicken or rooster or whatever it is, but they toss in the old Buccaneers logo. But, I mean, this is a clever. Oh, I would. This is a clever can. I, I saw would... it at the store and I was like. Thank I would you. definitely rock that logo on a t-shirt. I'd wear the heck out of it, actually. Yeah, and I actually think they were selling out of these, the um, sweatshirts and stuff and oh, t-shirts. I, so. I believe it. So this Trader Aid, speaking of Danielle, who I've been talking about this whole time, this is a key lime sour. One of my favorites. So that's actually two of your favorites. favorites one of your favorite desserts, yep. key lime pie, and a favorite type of beer, sour. That's right. I only like one of these things, so we will see how this goes. And... Did we get the... No, we didn't get a key lime. No, you said no. I was going to get a key lime uh, cheesecake today at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> but it's all good. But this is an imperial fruit sour with sea salt. So as reading online and stuff, it, again, it's a key lime sour. So I think what the brewers wanted to do with this mm -hmm. is... I, I think the original recipe was they wanted, they wanted to retire this recipe from what I'm gathering. And they saying it's, they comparing it to like retiring in Florida where you get your key lime down the keys oh. with the sea salt as the beach. So it's like retiring from Florida. So huh. hopefully, unfortunately Tom Brady, he will retire a Patriot, but he's also got this asterisk of these uh, fancy colors here on his uh, mm. resume. <laughs> but let's dive in on this. Yes, yeah, so Trader Aid by Smug Brewing down in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Pawtucket, Rhode Island. That was coming. Pawtucket. That's the second time we've talked about Pawtucket today. That's right. Former home of the Pawtucket Red Sox. Rest Ooh, in peace. Sox. No, that's in Worcester. Yeah, but they came from. That's... But they came from Pawtucket. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you lost your. Former P home of the Pawsocks. Pawtucket lost the baseball team, but they have awesome breweries, believe it or not. They do. They do. Hi, Shandy. You made it. So, we're diving in. Ooh. I don't know. Upon first smell. Well, sometimes the worst smelling beers taste pretty good. But I'm yeah, going to go ahead and say I'm probably not going to like this. The can, the can sold it for me, but again, like I said, I got this in the uh, craft beer cellar in Norfolk, Mass. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not too far from Gillette Stadium, and they have everything. It's a, a place where you can go and just buy single cans of something. You don't have to buy the whole four-pack or a whole six-pack. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and just grab anything you want. Singles, yeah, that's whatever. What, that's what I love about places like that. Shandy, you deserve all the naps in the world. You are growing a human. And Karen, no, you are not too late. Just in time for a second beer. Um, D3 was in Pawtucket today. That's the place that he was at. Mm-hmm. He should have went to the brewery, D3. Drop, but, drop the ball there. Anyways, here we go. Oh, and um, to go back to the other beer, that was 9.5% uh, alcohol. That was... Nice. That'll get you there. That was good. And then this one right here is uh, 7%. So... All right. We'll see how wasted we get. Oh, here we go. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, lime. This if, is actually If you like lime, this good. is this is for you. This, it, is, this is it. It tastes like a lime margarita. It tastes like a with a, a salted rim. Honestly, it tastes like a lime ricky too. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, this is very good. This, I'm I am shocked that I like this. Wow, I'm kind of shocked that you like I'm it. I'm very shocked that I like this. Trader aid. Trader aid. Trader aid. Um this is this is very refreshing. I kind of wish that it was like a little bit colder. If this was nice and cold and like a nice cold glass, sitting outside on the beach, outdoor this is bar. Perfect. Holy crap, this is so good. Yeah, if you like sours or just honestly, if, 
a Bud Lime or something like that. Like, this is it. This is... Traitory. <laughs> Traitory, but... I was not expecting this at all. No. This at was, all. This was good. I smelled it at first. I was like, uh-oh. No, it smells like feet. Yeah, cat pee. But <laughs> it doesn't. It's it's delicious. So this we're going to polish this one off very fast. Very, very fast. Um, Zach, I would love to drink some beers with you as well and meet you since you're with my beautiful Shandy. So we'll definitely do that one day. Trader aid. Trader aid. I don't know how you feel about Tom Brady, <laughs> you know, going down to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, obviously, we could spend all night, but the Patriots weren't going to resign him. They weren't going to send him. They weren't going to keep him in New England. So he moved on to Green Apaches. He's doing pretty well. Good for him. He's got all the weapons that Bill Good never got him. him. And they're playing tomorrow. That's going to be an awesome game tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited for some football. Yeah. And just relax. Plus, we have Monday off. Yep. Oh, I'm so ready. Bring it on. So, yeah, this is a delicious beer. As far as sours go... I'm going to rate this, I'm going with a 4.9. 4.9? Holy crap. This is it. This is... So this is this has been your top beer so far. As far as sours go. No, but like with all the ones that we've rated, this is your top one. Right, but this I'm basing it on a sour. Right, okay, okay, that's fair. Um, okay. So again, not really a sour fan. At all. Shocked that I even like this. Uh, I'm going to... I I think I'm going to give this like a 4.2. Whoa! Yeah. All I right. Am, I, I can't even believe the words coming out of my mouth, but this is a very, very good beer. It's delicious. I can't wait for it to be like nice, icy cold on like a hot day sitting outside or crushing beers with Karen Campbell Evans on... Fantastic <laughs> Beach. Fantastic Beach. <laughs> but yeah, th this is excellent. This is an excellent beer. Um, honestly, if, if I think they should put out more of these like as like posters and stuff. And oh yeah. Hanging on your wall. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have a man cave or a woman cave, and you're a Patriots fan That's or a right. sports fan just in general. It, it's something cool to have. I, I'm gonna keep my eyes open for like a picture of it. And... Do we still have the one the other Tom Brady beer? That was like a, was it a Ram? Um, we gave that out to your uncle. Or, no, it was goats. It was a goat. Oh, God, I'm so tired. Tom Brady, the Ram of New England. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Ram. What's that going to stand for? <laughs> what was it? A ram? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Tom Brady's the goat. He's the goat down in Florida right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So, yes, we gave away all those posters to my uncles because those were pretty awesome. Yeah, they were pretty cool. But, um, <laughs> no, if you guys go... Honestly, I've only seen this at the craft beer cellar in Norfolk. Um, I mean, check in your area if they have craft beer cellars. <laughs> but um, this is delicious. This, this is, is a really delicious good. beer. <laughs> um, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this. So. Same. Oh, my gosh. Same. This is good. This is definitely good. So you'll probably finish this one. I'll finish the chocolate one. Yeah. Um, call it good. So I'm going to roll the dice here. Should we save the beer we got the other day for the next one? Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Look who it is. It's the baby. But yeah, we're um This is this Say hi is, to everybody. Hi to everybody. Um we're gonna get this puzzle done, hopefully sooner than later. Um but yeah, we got we got a fridge full of beers. We'll be seeing you guys soon. Maybe a, I don't know, maybe a special Martin Luther King Day episode. We could do that. Let us know what you guys think. Um, the weekday, we had, thank you for everyone that coming on the Wednesday night. Yeah, we that We know was awesome. it was a weeknight and we threw guys a curveball. But we appreciate everyone that came and drank beers with us. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll, um, so maybe we'll pretty. put up a poll, see if you guys want to hang with us on Monday night. Yeah. Six o'clock or so. Um, we know some of you guys aren't working, but whatever. Beer's cold, we're drinking it. Um, what do you think? I think this was great. I think this was probably one of my favorite episodes to do so far. We had awesome... Slick Lizard, what's happening? <laughs> Big shout out to the Slick Lizard. The slickest Lizard there is. The Slick Wizard down in... Oh, that's right. Hogwarts. I saw a photo. Yes, Shandy, a Plymouth trip sounds 
perfect. Yeah, I'd love to go. Bring on summer. I am so ready. But I think this is my favorite episode so far. We have two awesome beers, totally unexpected. Yeah. We have Beja. We have awesome company, a bunch of first timers. Yeah, a bunch of first timers. I think this is my favorite episode so far. So far, so good. We got the new background. No more yes. Christmas tree. No more Christmas tree, no curtains. Who was it that said it was a shower curtain? Oh, Anthony. Anthony asked if we were in the bathroom. Oh, Anthony just wants to see you in the bathroom. Anthony does. We don't live <laughs> in palatial place, so. Well, I can't say I blame him. But, um, yeah, we're going to put up a poll. We'll, again, we'll put all the descriptions and um, our ratings of these beers. And I'll put in where you can get them, too. Um, but, yeah, follow these breweries on Facebook yeah. or Instagram, yeah, or Twitter, or MySpace, whatever, whatever platform you <laughs> I follow. I wish we still had MySpace. MySpace would be much better than Facebook right now. What number of friend would you have me on your? Top number list? one. That's right. That's right. Goes without saying. Better be. Speaking of friends that I would have in my top ten, where's James Lane? <gasps> what is he actually? He's probably doing? playing Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> and yeah. James has a very popular social life even during quarantine. Good for him. Yeah. So also we're um I'm I think that we should slowly get into making some like merch. Mm. I'm thinking of a t shirt. So if anyone knows anyone that could do a cool logo, I might whip something up, but we're gonna get the ball rolling on here. Mm. Um and then we you can get a special shirt if you're the number one fan, which there's a lot of number one fans on here. I don't, Amanda's been like tried and true so far. Amanda's drunk. Amanda's our number one fan. She, Pat's always there, too. Well, Pat came late today and last time. Yeah, Pat, Amanda's, what are you doing? Amanda's up there, I'm telling you. She's all right. <laughs> all but, right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us again on this Saturday evening. This was so fun. Yeah, this was a good one, guys. Thank you for showing up and thank you for the support. Um, dipping your toes if you're a newcomer, so we appreciate that. <laughs> this is... Listen to the pool of us. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> the imagination can run wild here with us. Um, but, yeah, we appreciate everyone for stopping by. We know you're not doing anything right now. <laughs> We're not doing... If you're out at a restaurant or a bar or something, go home with your family. Like, go watch... What's on Saturday night now? I don't even if it was know. a Friday night, I'd be like, go home and watch CGI Friday. Uh, family Matters and Step by Step is on. And step by Go step. watch all that stuff. But uh, we know you guys aren't doing anything, but we appreciate you guys stopping in. Saying hi. We love you all. We miss you all. Yeah, we miss you guys so much. So this is our way of kind of reaching you guys and showing love. Don't start singing it. Fine. Fine, I won't. Sweet Caroline. Um, but again, we'll put everything in the on our Instagram. Tell your friends. Tell your mother. Tell your father. Tell your grandparents. Tell your neighbors. Tell the people <laughs> at your packy to check us out. And... Um, Support your local brewery. That's yeah. what we're all about. Don't be scared. Just hop in a brewery and just say, hey, what do you got? Yeah, feel free to shoot us a text if you see a beer. Like, have you tried this? What do you think? And if not, maybe grab us a can and we'll feature you. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you again, guys, for coming in. Don't forget, again, support your local brewery. Thanks for coming in. We love you. And come share a beer with us again sometime soon. We'll let you guys know. Stay tuned to Instagram. We'll see you guys Soon. Oh, Tom, Tom, baby. Bye guys. Bye guys. Thank you.